Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exciting because I'm going to be creating two custom Happy Planner spreads for two of my patrons on Patreon. So if you would like to see what they requested and what I do, keep watching. So before we jump into the planner portion of the video, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare, if you don't know what it is, it's an online learning community for creative people like you and me. There are all sorts of classes on there with all different topics like drawing, photography, lettering, even planner classes, you guys. And it's anywhere from beginners to advanced. So there's all sorts of different levels of classes. Each class has a video lesson and a class project. And the classes are typically under 60 minutes long and they're broken out into small sections called lessons and you can basically just pick it up where you left off. So it's great for busy people. You don't have to sit through the whole class at once. Also, you guys, there's no ads on there. So you don't have to worry about skipping ads or sitting through them. There's none of that because it's made just for learning. They also have some live classes in real time, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried any of those yet, but I'd really like to do that. So I get really excited about this because there's so many different kinds of classes and I can learn so many new things. So the one I've been taking lately is called iPhone Filmmaking, Creating Video with Your Phone. That class is taught by Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. So I'm thinking about maybe getting into vlogs in the future. So I'm learning about all sorts of stuff about that, like equipment and actually gimbals are really interesting. So I'm thinking I'm gonna buy one of those. And yeah, so I'm just learning a lot from that. So I'm having so much fun with Skillshare, just learning all sorts of new things. So if there's something that you've been wanting to try or learn, this is Awesome. So I have a deal for you. The first 1000 people to click the link in my description will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare premium and you can check it out for yourself. I'm telling you guys, you're going to love it. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and on to the plan with me. All right, let's get started. So first up, we have a spread for Gianna. Now, Gianna wanted a spread for June 21st through the 27th and I looked all over the place for pages for June 21st. And guess what? I'm completely out of them. I guess I used some last month. So what we're gonna do is take pages from uh, March, 2022, because the dates um, pretty much match up to the dates in, well, they do match up to the dates in June. So I'm just gonna have to redate that um, March. So first up, we're just gonna cover this up so I don't forget because sometimes I almost forget. I don't want to do that to Gianna. I always ask them for a custom theme and Gianna's theme this month is uh, retro campers, which I thought was really interesting. And I've never done a camper spread, so I thought it would be fun. And we're just going to, I don't know, play with it and see how it goes. So I was able to find some camper stickers in a couple of sticker books. We have the orange seasonal book, look, that's a little bit old, don't you think? It's a little beat up and um, summer fun. So both of these have campers in them and I'm just gonna kind of like play it by ear and design it with you guys. I thought maybe it would be fun to use some of the stickers in here um, to go along with it. So here's the campers I was looking at, these two. And then in this book, we have some smaller ones and they're a little bit like of a different style. So I don't know, I might use all of them, maybe, because there's a bunch of colors of this one too. And I also thought it would be fun to do a quote that says, happy camper. <laughs> I don't know. I looked for a sticker and there is one in the gold star quote sticker book, but it's like kind of small. So I thought I would maybe uh, letter it for her. And that's the only ideas I had. I think I'm gonna use some washi tape as well. And so 
I'm thinking maybe I'll letter like the quote kind of across these two boxes here maybe that's sort of like in the middle so let me do that I'm just going to take a pencil and just try to I don't know oh I'm scared maybe I'll just do like happy uh I might have to do this off camera something like that you see what I'm saying um I'm gonna do this off camera because I gotta get my head like super close to the page to be able to letter and then I'll be back so I lettered happy camper and now what I'm gonna do is use acrylograph pens these are the archer and olive acrylograph pens I know I talk about these a lot but I use them a lot uh and the reason I use them a lot in my planner is that it won't show through to the other side. And that surprised me the first time I used them. They are paint pens, so I thought it's going to, you know, go through and it doesn't. Now, if I were to use my Tombows to color the, this in, I could still do that. But it would definitely um, either bleed through or show some shadowing on the other side. And these don't do that. And I like these. Also, if you put these over pencil, it kind of like covers it up but um because it's opaque but since this is yellow i am going to erase these lines a little bit just so that it doesn't like show through i'm going to be going in the lines but and the reason i'm using red oh i'm using yellow and i'm using red and the reason i'm using these is that i saw this fun in the sun sticker and i thought that would be really fun to put in here now i know we have green and blue but i thought then maybe i'd bring in a whole bunch of colors and just make it a really colorful spread and I would keep the letters like in these the same. So what I am gonna do here is just this. And I will put a link in the description box for these pens. People ask me all the time what which pens, they they come in like 0.7 millimeter and they come in three millimeter. People ask me all the time, which do you recommend to start? And I always recommend the 0.7 millimeter because they're thinner and they can get into small spaces. And you can also color in bigger areas, so this is more versatile. But I do use both all the time, and I like having both sizes. Um, anyway, if you're going to purchase, I would appreciate using my link because it does help me out. And to help you out, I have a code. It is PWB10, and that will get you 10% off your order. So thank you for using that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, so you can see it's opaque because it goes right over that line and I don't have to white it out or anything. It's just gonna color that in, which I like a lot. I just really enjoy working with these pens and you can, um, I don't know if you've seen, if you're new to my channel, you might not have seen, but you can color in stickers to make them like the colors that you want. You don't have to settle for a sticker that's not the right color. So if I didn't want this fun in the sun to be these colors, I could color it in. Even the clear stickers, it works for that. So these are awesome. I love these. They have been like a game changer for me. Okay, so we're just going to finish this up and then I'm going to do the red. I guess I'll speed this part up because you don't really need to see me coloring in in real time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here's the other side. Now if I turn it, you can kind of maybe see it. It is also slightly warped. I put a lot of, of um, a lot of the yellow paint pen on there. It's slightly warped. It doesn't usually get that way um, because I don't usually make big, I've never actually done big letters like this before. So it's interesting to see what happened, but it's not that bad. And you really can't see it if you're putting it flat, like you can't see through it. Again, if I use my Tombows, you'd be able to see the bleed through. And so I think that's pretty cool. And also if you're coloring on stickers, like it doesn't matter uh, if it goes through the other side, but it doesn't. And it doesn't warp the sticker. And even if it did, you would just put it down flat so it doesn't warp the paper or anything like that. Anyway. It dries really fast. This is dry already. I may go in and just touch up a couple of these areas, but what I'm going to do first 
is take my Muji 0.38 pen because this yellow is pretty light and it's kind of hard to see. So I really like to outline the lighter colors when I, when I do these types of letters in my planner. And so that's what I'm gonna do now and just kind of outline it. It's gonna look really cool when it's done. All right, so I think that's super cute and just a fun way to kind of, um, I don't know, just talk about camping. And I don't know what I'm trying to say. Talk about camping in the middle of the spread. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just a fun accent. So, okay, so that's that. And I'm going to take this fun in the sun. And I know the colors aren't exactly the same because this is more pinkish on the top. But... I think that's okay because it's going to be over here in the sidebar. I'm actually going to put it down here. I think that's super fun. And summer loving, why not? We're going to put that somewhere too. I don't know where. I, I feel like I want to balance it out by putting it like here, up here somewhere. Let's just stick it there. Okay. I don't usually put like quote stickers on in the beginning, but let's just do it. All right, now what the heck do we do? I don't know, but we're going to use some campers, that's for sure. And I'm thinking maybe like this over here. Just kind of put it like that, and then we'll figure out what to do here and here. I really like this washi tape lately. I've used this in a couple of spreads. It's like a bigger grid washi, and I got this in this box. And I will link this in the description. It's like, oh, it's on there. <laughs> like a bunch of really cool washi tapes in this. They're all grid, but they're all kind of different. Anyway, I'm going to use this one in this spread. And I think I'm going to take this Summer Lovin' off for now. I looked at it and I was like, you know what? Because there's two of the same, these types of stickers. And I just don't know that it's going to pair well with this. So I'm going to take that off and maybe we'll use that um, coming up at some point. So what I'm going to do here is just take some washi tape and do what I do once in a while and just kind of like rip it and see how that looks. I don't know why this reminded me. Oh, there's a hair in there. Gianna, bonus, bonus cat hair. Um, bonus fuzzy too. Is that a fuzzy? Yep, there's multiple fuzzies in there, but you get the bonus. Yay. All right. Um, it's not that bad. Otherwise, I would take it off. Is it bad? It's bad enough that I want to redo it. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't want to give Gianna like a lot. If it was one fuzzy, yes, but multiple fuzzies, maybe not. So we're going to redo that. Sorry, John, if you really wanted a cat hair in there, I seriously doubt that you did. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's just kind of different. Um, let's look and see what else we have in this orange seasonal that's falling apart. It's one of the older books that I've used a lot, I guess. We're definitely going for primary colors right now. So what if we used like this? This week's activities. Um, I kind of like this because it's going to bring in lots of colors. And then, but I don't know about this week's activities. It's a student sticker book, so it's meant for like that, but... I'm wondering if Gianna needs that to, to say that, you know what I mean? I could put a box sticker over it and it could say something else. I'm gonna cut this down. Maybe find a yellow box sticker to put on the top there. We could cut this one off of here and sort of write, let's see. 
I have two of these books, so I won't be heartbroken to lose that. So if I put this here, and then I can kind of cover this up maybe with something, but I'm gonna take a micron size 10 and write to do here. This will be um, your priorities for the week, Gianna. And then I'll put like something over that. So let's find something in here maybe. I'm wondering if it'll like cover that up enough so that you don't really notice it. And it does, that's cute. <laughs> um, I know there's not a lot of room for June up there now, but we'll take a smaller June from this book. I'll put this up here. I know there's a little bit of white out there. Sorry, Gianna, I hope that's okay. It's not too bad, I guess. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little box here for me to write to her. I know that's not like a lot of room, but I think it's gonna be okay. Maybe just a black box, and then I could bring up some other black boxes in here. About one of these. Is that? I don't think we can fit that. So I'm just gonna write really small for you. <laughs> Let's write a tiny. I'm gonna write in my tiniest writing, Gianna. Okay. So sidebar is done. Okay. So we are gonna bring in black boxes, but I kind of want to bring in some of the stuff from here too. Let me take this, and this will be okay because we're using black boxes. I'm gonna combine this though with a different color box that's not black because there's so much black in this. So let's get another one. We could do hot dogs, <laughs> these things for like camping. Okay, these boxes here. Let's just bring in a bunch of colors. So do I wanna use that? yellow would be good. Not that one because that has suns and this is like nighttime. Oops. No, I don't think yellow because there's yellow in there. So maybe something else like um, green or this turquoise maybe. I'll make it a Monday box, I guess. Okay, that's a box for Monday. And then I'm gonna put something here. Ooh, lines maybe. Maybe something there. How about a camper? Binoculars. Where were those hot dogs? Let's put a hot dog here. I don't know why. I'm just going to put it there. Um, okay. I know there's a lot of color. Don't worry. It's going to work out. We do have to bring maybe this color over to this side and some green. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to, and then we have to bring some of these types of colors over here. But first, I'm going to take this campfire nights and I'm going to put it over here because we have this and this here so we're going to balance out this color here and I'm going to pair that with a black box let's go back into colorful boxes okay so where am I going to put it though I, I don't think I can do it down there I guess here will be a Sunday box. Just kind of overlap that a little bit. Okay. Is that crooked? No, that's pretty good. It's right on the line. Um, okay, so let's go back in here. Do some more, but that adds peach in. I don't think I want to add another color in. We're getting crazy now. 
So, okay, so I want to put more campers in here. I also have to figure out what's going to go here and here. Maybe a couple of boxes. And don't forget, I am going to erase these lines. I don't know if I said that before, but I am. So don't worry about that. Uh, let's get some boxes, I guess. I do like a good square box, so let's do that. Now we have to figure out where we're going to put lines. I think I'm going to put lines here. Let's start. Let's start doing that actually, so that I don't forget and put something there. So I'm going to put some lines here. Um, I need my Muji. Muji point three eight. Maybe not every day. All right, let's hold off and we'll wait and see where we're gonna put them next. But first I'm doing a box, I guess here. I'll put a camper on the top of the box. For fun. Okay, I think since we have that, I think I'm gonna bring in a backpack or a suitcase or something. I think a backpack would be good on this side to sort of pull it together. Also, maybe mountains could go up here. Now that goes right into Sunday. I don't think I like that, but <laughs> I don't like that. But I think like bringing in something like that is a good idea. I could put them here. All right. Um, I'm going to pair this with a box. So let's grab a black box. Maybe I'll do one that's like horizontal. That's fun to do sometimes, although it kind of straddles two days. That might be a good weekend box. But I might want some lines there. All right, let's 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 keep going with the vertical, I guess. I kind of wish I had done a bigger box there because now there's like no place for a big box over here unless we put one here. I'm going to put one here on Friday. And maybe we put the backpack like kind of down here. Okay. And I know there's a lot of colors in here, but I'm trying to take all the colors and balance them. I need that color. So let's go back in the um, the orange seasonal book and just that's falling apart everywhere. The, all the pages are falling out um, and find something. Summer bonfire might work. I think this makes the most sense with the camper theme. So, but where are we going to put it? Maybe I'll pair it with a box over here or something. Hold on. I guess a black box. So, we're going to do a box here. And I'll put this there. So, it just pulls in that color. I know it's not perfect, but... At least it brings in that color. And let's look for this exact green as well. We do have that. That's pretty close. Let's look for something else in that green. Make some s'mores. Maybe we can put it like down here to sort of balance that out, even though it's two circles, but that's fine. Maybe I'll get another circle for this page. Okay, it's looking good. Um, I need, let's see. Maybe I will put lines there just to fill that space up. Uh, let's put some here. And then we'll put some down here on Sunday. Okay. Oh, it's looking so cute. I always like it better when I put the lines in. Okay. Uh, another box maybe. And since we have this box, I want to pull one up here from that book to sort of tie in that sort of theme. Let's see what colors we have. Oh, there was another page of those. I feel like a yellow maybe because there's more yellow on the other side. Here, this 
one with the suns maybe. Um, I guess here. All right. Do I want to bring in this summer loving sticker? I don't think so. Okay, let's put something there, like another camper maybe. Although there's one right there. Let's get another one of these campers though. I feel like we need to match that. Plus it's it's gotta be a camper spread. So we need more campers. Um, I guess here, even though that's right there though, I feel like that's too much. I'm going to put it here, I guess, but that backpack's there. And if I put it here, it's too close to that camper. What do I do? I put it there, but it's too close to that one. I guess I'll just put it right down here. And then maybe like another black box there or another color box or lines. Maybe some lines. And there's lines on almost every day, which I, you know, I don't need, I don't know if Gianna needs that many lines. However, lines aren't just for to-dos. Lines can be for what you did that day. Lines can be for errands to run. Lines can, oh no. Lines can um, be really for anything. I mean, like Happy Planner actually has the, the whole lined vertical planner that's all lines. So like, oh, I messed that up a little bit. Sorry, Gianna. Do you know what I mean? It can really be for anything. Let's throw another hot dog in. Why not? It's making me hungry. I started Weight Watchers again today and now I'm putting hot dogs in here. You think that's a coincidence? I think not. I think I have some turkey dogs in the fridge. I could have one of those. Um, do we want another hot dog? Is that too many hot dogs? <laughs> Let's be honest, probably. We're not gonna put another hot dog in here. But I feel like something needs to go there. I'm thinking maybe another box because there's no box on Saturday. So let's do that. Let's grab... Um, just a black box, I guess. We'll just pull this over here. And then maybe put something else there. But what? Um, let me look at the colors here. It's pretty balanced. Pretty balanced. I kind of feel like something yellow needs to like go in the middle there though. How about this adventure? No. I like the adventure, but I don't think it belongs there. I don't really need anything there. I just thought it'd be fun. I could put adventure there. How about another flashlight? No, oh, it's the same colors as that, so probably not. Let's put a pink flashlight there. Okay, um, something small and yellow right there. There's no box on Tuesday though. Maybe I should have a box there. Maybe I could cut this little sun off of here and put it inside a box. I could do like a long box like this. I mean a vertical box and then let's take that off because I don't know if I'm going to use, I have two of these books and I really doubt I'm going to use all these summer camp stickers because like I don't, 
have little kids anymore and I don't go to camp, so I don't think I'm gonna be using them. So let's just use the sticker for something else. You can always do that, just cut up your stickers. Take little bits of them, you know, if you think you're not gonna use a sticker, like find little pieces of it that maybe pertain to you and use them. Because I mean, you're paying for all the stickers in the book, you might as well use them. Right, right. I don't know, you got a little sun box there, Gianna. I don't know what that means, but it is what it is. Okay, we are done. I think it's super cute. I think it's fun. Um, I feel like maybe one more black box needs to go right there though. Don't you think? Cause there's like four black boxes here, three here. I don't know. I know I'm crazy, but maybe just a little one. I know I said I wanted to put something here and here. I don't really need to though. Once all the other stickers are on there, I think it looks okay. I think that's better. It gives you um, just something else on this side of the page. So I love it, Gianna. I hope you love it too. And now on to the next spread. All right. The second spread of the day is for Marisol. And Marisol asked for a big happy planner for the week, again, of June 21st, 21st through the 27th. And I didn't have a page, so I had to borrow one from November of next year. Um, yeah. So... I believe that's November 2022. Well, anyway, I'll have another planner by then. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so Marisol asked for a spread that's bright and cheery. She said she needs some motivation. So I'm going to give her bright and cheery. Those are my favorite kind of spreads to make, actually. This is a big Mambi stick sticker. It says, look for rainbows. And I thought it was cute. And like, how much more cheery can you get than that? So I'm going to use this. And I think what I'm going to do is put it in the middle. So maybe I want to put it down there. I never really do that. I'm going to put it down at the bottom here. I could put it at the top. That I really never do. I think I might run into the days. So let's put it at the bottom. Do I want it all the way? I feel like I want it all the way down because then the letters will be like on the bottom underneath the boxes. And I think that's kind of cool. It's not exactly totally even, but it's good enough, I guess. We'll see what it looks like after I cut it. All right. Oh, it looks kind of uneven, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we'll, once it's in the planner, it really won't look too bad, I don't think. Oh, man, I really should have thought of that. Well, what's done is done. Marisol, I'm sorry it's not completely even, but it is what it is, you know? What can I say? Look for rainbows. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm going to punch this. Let me get... I could use this crocodile punch, but um, I think I'm going to use the big punch because there's a bunch of holes. There's three, three holes, really, to punch. Well, let me show you how this works first. So if you haven't seen this on my channel, I bought this recently. It's called a crocodile punch, and it is awesome. So basically, you're going to line up. I'm going to start with this side. You're going to line this up with that and then punch. I can do it with these. And then line this one up with that one and punch so that you don't need the big happy planner punch. But if you, um, if you ever like cover all of them, I would suggest using the big happy planner punch. It's just easier. But this, I bought this so that like when I had, when I covered like one hole with a sticker, I could come in easily and punch it so that I didn't have to like punch all of the holes. And I just used this. So. I still love my big happy planner punch and I still use it, but this is like quick in a pinch, you know, and with just like a smaller amount. Ooh, that one's not coming off very well. With just um, a smaller amount of holes to punch, you can just do this. Okay. So that's that. We've got our crooked rainbow, 
our offset rainbow, which just goes to show that not everyone is perfect. So we look for rainbows in you know our lives. I'm gonna use the Happy Quote sticker book because I was looking at this earlier and like, it's just so, I don't know, happy, right? It's super happy. And we've got a lot of colors in this. Although now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't really match those colors so well. I'm kind of regretting the rainbow now, really, but, and I could take it off. I could take it off, but the only reason I hesitate with Color Me Happy is I already made Marisol. I'm pretty sure I made Marisol a spread with Color Me Happy. I think that might have been her first spread ever, but I'm not positive. Um, let me just grab that sticker book. It definitely is bright and cheery. And it really will match this. Let's do it. But I think the one I made for her, I think had a lot of black in it. I think I will, I will not do that this time. Okay. Because you really can't get more cheerful than this sticker book. Like, this is the most cheerful one I can think of, you know? So let's use it. Because it's happy, 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 happy. I don't know if I used that with you before because I'm another book, but maybe... We're just gonna go all out with happy and bright and cheerful. And that's what this book reminds me of. Oh, and some washi tape. Let's put in some happy washi. Um, hmm. We could do like a rainbow washi thing. This one's pretty. Uh, let me pause and look at my washi tape. All right. So I have some yellow and orange washi. How much more cheerful can you get? I'm gonna take this part off because it's yucky. This one bumble chewed up, so it is what it is. But I'm gonna do some stripes. So I'm gonna start with this. Put that down. Is that looking a little, that's looking a little ragged. Hold up. I guess it's from the chewing. But I'm going to make like, do I want to take it across? Maybe do that. So this came in a pack from the washi tape shop of a bunch of different colors. I love having plain washi tape just to, um, just to have around for when I need it for like situations like this where I just want a little bit of color but I don't necessarily want a whole pattern and now I'm making stripes that are like orange to yellow it makes like an ombre kind of look because it's it's pretty transparent so you can make like stripes so it kind of looks like three separate washi tapes but it's only two um, so that's really bright and cheerful. I wanted a bright pink, but I don't have one on hand. So we're just going to go with this. I mean, honestly, you can't get much more cheerful than this, like, washi tape. You know what I mean? It's very, very cheerful. I think I'm going to do it like this. I mean, oh, shoot. Bumble, why did you chew this up? She never does that either. That's like the first thing she's chewed up in so long. I was like, why? Why'd you do that? She's a good girl though. She rarely chews up anything. Okay. I'm gonna stripe it here again, like we did up there. You should see the pile of washi tape scraps I have just sitting on the side of my desk. It's ridiculous. Okay, um, you know, maybe I'll have like a bright pink. Let me check. I might have a, a bright pink like skinny washi because I feel like a bright pink needs to be pulled into that in some way. I have no idea where I got this. I got it a long time ago and I don't know what brand it is or where I got it, but it's kind of cool. Let's put it down. So it's fun to make like different 
washi tape patterns or like stacks. I like doing that sometimes just for something new. If I get bored, you know, just pile them together for like a cute little scene. I don't know. Trying to make it cheery. Actually, I should put it there. I think I overlapped. I don't want to overlap because I want it to be bright. So I'm going to take that other one off and redo it, I think. Because I think I overlapped it on the yellow. Yeah. Let's do it again. And never in a million years will I use this entire washi tape roll, so it's okay to waste that. I like this. It says on a happy note and it's bright and fun. And this Marisol can be your gratitude list. And when you make, when you're like feeling kind of blah, make a gratitude list because it's going to change your attitude even just very, very slightly. Is that crooked? I think that's pretty good even very slightly, it can change your attitude. And I, I think it's really important to do that when you're feeling like you're in a slump, which I think was what Marisol was saying about that, about her theme, that she was feeling kind of like in a slump. Here, I'm gonna give you another one that says grateful. And I'll take it today. Why am I taking three of these on my fingers at once? That's really a bad idea. I'm gonna put this one up here because we've got these colors, right? So I'm gonna put that one up there. It's gonna balance out those reds or pinks and oranges and yellows. And then let's look at some of the boxes that are in here, like the decorative ones. I really like this big ideas. The reason yellow is my favorite color is because it's very cheerful. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I know that this is kind of strange because she's not going to have like plans over two days, but she can put her big ideas here. I don't know what they are, but that's for your big ideas. Maybe there's another one in a different color like that's long like that because that's kind of fun. Yeah, look at this. Oh, there's a rainbow one. I should have used that. Should I use the purple? Oh, look, here's one of these. Except now I feel like this should go there and the yellow should go there. So let's move it. I don't know if I can pull this off without undo, but we're going to try and just feel it out and see how it goes. And we're doing fine because this is like a little bit of an older sticker pack. So it worked out. I'm going to accept it. It's wrinkly. I'm going to put this. Well, I'll put this here. And then this one here, just for something different. I don't really know why. Okay. Lots of big ideas this week, Marisol. And I want you to put them there. Now let's check out the other decorative boxes here. And that's the fun of the big happy planner. That's why you can do things like this in there and still have lots of room for your plans. Like that's why I like it. And I know I talk about that a lot, but in case you're new to my channel, that's the reason I use a big let's see. I, already, I was going to put there, that there, but there's already happy, happy, happy. 
What if we look over here at happy quotes? Maybe we can pull some of this in and still have it match. Like sunshine and happy times. Does that work? I guess. Stripes are my favorite color. We can layer this one with a box. So let's grab, which what I should have done with that too. Let's grab a box. Um, I don't know how I feel about this color and this color near each other, but I think we're just going to like go for all the colors all over the place in this spread and just you know what I mean just like everywhere <laughs> colors everywhere maybe I'll put this down here or this here so this over here Marisol is your gratitude list I know I already said you had a gratitude list but this is different so this is the things in your life you're grateful for okay but down here these are the things that you're happy that make you happy. So they could be, there could be some overlap, but like these are things that like you think about and you're happy, like puppies or like cupcakes, okay? And this is like grateful for um, the roof over my head, you know, that kind of thing. All right, let me put some lines in before I get too into this. So let me grab that. Maybe I should do colored lines, should I? I'm not going to only because it gets complicated with the color matching when I put down more stickers. So um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put this, these lines here. I don't think Marisol is gonna be able to look at this spread and be bummed out. Like it's really happy. Just saying, it's pretty darn happy. I really like this sweet life. Let's do it. Let's do it right underneath there. And I'll put a box down there to sign, sign it for Marisol. Now I guess like more plain boxes. We need some more plain boxes, which I'm not going to find in there. I guess I should dig into the colorful boxes book probably. Could put some of these priority stickers in here and don't forget I'll put one here don't forget whatever it is you need to not forget and we'll do a priority we'll do an orange oh I pulled that one up before Um, where do we want to put this? I mean, we don't need to have two of these same type stickers, but I think I'm going to do it. Do I want to do it like that? No. But I kind of don't mind overlapping this purpley blue because it's like opposite on the color wheel and it kind of looks good together. Okay. Um, let's dig into, like I said, the regular colorful boxes books, because I think we have enough specialty boxes now that we can add other ones in and then maybe some, um, clear quotes and then we'll be done. The reason sometimes I do black, well, I do like the way it looks, but also it's easy because you don't have to think about exactly matching the colors. So if, if you get stuck on like color matching and stuff, you can't go wrong with black boxes. Now I have purple over here, so I can put in a purple box to sort of match that on this other side here, just so we sort of have purple on both sides. So the purple's not all by its lonesome. So let's stick a purple box right here. That way they're buds. 
Okay. I really would like to put, I thought that was a, I thought that was a piece of sticker, it's a heart. I really would like to put some of this green in here, like these green boxes, but they're always hard to come by because I use them a lot. There's some smaller ones. I like the bigger ones and I like the squares. I doubt there's gonna be any in here, but you never know. See, I like the I like that color. I like that lime green. Nope. Well, we'll use at least a couple of these smaller ones. I could put more lines in here, but I don't know. So I'm gonna need box on Monday for whatever Marisol's got going on that day. Maybe instead of like clear quotes, we find some like really cheery little like icon, like a cup of coffee or like a sun, right? That could work. Or we do could do clear quotes and that. Let's look at, um, let's look in here again. Happy day. I think there's enough yellow in here now though. The yellow's pretty balanced. I could put it up there though. No, it's too long. It's all good, but that has a lot of black. I kind of want to stay away from that. It's looking really cute. thinking some fun colorful pictures so let's look back in these uh in the happy quotes because I feel like there's some fun stuff in there let's give Marisol a cup of coffee on Monday like I used to do all the time remember back in the good old days I wanted like little pictures but I don't know that I'm gonna find them in there. What if we got something out of girl power, like some of those flowers or something? Or like some flags, heck yeah. The colors aren't right, that's the only thing. What about all the feels? Ah, okay, um, the colors are right in this one, and what we could use these little, like, happy faces. Let's put one there. He's just hanging out. And here's a happy face here. We'll put one up there. I don't want to introduce more colors in here. I'm kind of, um, I want to stick with the colors we have, you know? These stars are cute though. They would match. Are there more of those and other in other colors maybe maybe if we're lucky or maybe not bummer 
Well, we can use one more. It's kind of balance out the stars. I don't know. Put it there. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're just about done. Let me just take a look. Oh, I need a box for there too. So I'm thinking pink. Bright pink boxes are difficult to find. Uh, how about another colorful boxes book like the copper foil one or something? It's more of like a light pink, but this one will probably work. It's not the exact color, but it's pretty close. So let's use this. That'll be where I write Marisol a note. Is that gonna work? Uh, it's a little off that, but I don't think that's bad. Okay, let's take a look at this. There's lots of colors in here. I feel like something little needs to go up in that corner for just like, just a little something. It's okay to make mistakes. I know there's pink here, but would it be okay to put more pink there? Or would that be a mistake? I feel like that's a mistake. But it's okay to make mistakes. But is it though on this spread? Maybe not. All right, let's just use another smiley face. And we'll use this guy because we haven't used him yet. Um, but I'm not going to put him up there because it's like too close to that. So I'm going to put him like right there. I think that's enough that like it gives it something. You know what I mean? So, oh wait, we need June. Let's get a June sticker. I think we can use this one because there's so many colors in here. I'll put this here, June. Okay, sorry about the white out Marisol. I hope that doesn't bother you too much, but I was expecting to put something bigger there. Um, it's cute. It's really cute. Yeah, I think it's fun, it's cute, and I think it's very, very cheerful. So Marisol, I hope you love it. And let me know in the comments below, which was your favorite out of these two spreads, Gianna's or Marisol's. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.